The front line is eerily quiet as soldiers scan the horizon for the foe they have battled for years. All their senses are finely tuned and their ears are cocked just like their guns for the sound that usually heralds the arrival of the deadly enemy. The sound of bullets is what the soldiers here refer to as music. It may not be sweet sound, but it is the sound their ears are tuned to. If it is before, as you are standing here, you will hear some music going on. But for now, because of the hard working of the high authority and the gallant soldiers on the ground, yes, everything is moving fine and you can see you are here. Even I'm trying to take a safety so that you will not even hear one sound of music. These are Nigerian soldiers who for four years have engaged Boko Haram insurgents at different fronts in the northeast. The many battles have toughened them. Guns are everywhere and these are not ordinary guns. Wherever you turn, there are chariots and instruments of war. I was the RSM in Sambisa. I said, sir, we need more equipment. We need laser light and in which we have laser light, that at night I can blind Boko Haram without firing Why, why is the laser light? This is the laser light. The grim reality of war dawns on you in the front line, as well as the human costs of war. The men tell us their stars. This, this is not the only bullet. Check at the front, there is some. Even this guy is a bullet. So this uh, is nothing. It is not just about the territories they lost and regained it is also about the friends they have lost, limbs lost, and lives hanging in the balance. We are on our way coming from Gulubagan, so our motor atomized this IED. So immediately I lost one of my legs. Because of the attack, um, mines, uh, sorry, um, IEDs were thrown, um, mortars were fired and the fragments pierced into my legs and I was rushed down to the hospital. Lieutenant Commander Abraham Ibnevia was shot in the hands and leg while leading his battalion on an operation deep punch to rout remnants of the insurgents. On our fifth day in the bush that we had this battle, we started that day they came around 3 a.m. and we start the battle started. Of course, we fought till daybreak. It was in the course of that that I was injured. From broken neck to amputated legs, the injuries are a reminder of their role in the patriotic defense of the territorial integrity of their country. At the front line, they remain defiant and unbowed, brave soldiers to the end. We are here to sacrifice our today for their tomorrow. We are here to sacrifice today so that our children will have a peaceful life tomorrow. I believe everything is planned by God. So when it comes, I take it. Whichever way it is, I just take it like that. Death may hang in the air at the front line, but these are fighting men. They keep up their spirit in the age-old tradition of the Nigerian military. Young men, of course, uh, who have sacrificed everything they have. Today we celebrate these uh, men right here in the front line in Meduguri. From Meduguri, I'm Claire Adelabo Abdurazak, NT News. Oh, yeah.